everybody, Doug here for Kitta Branded Fire Alarm Life Safety Systems. In today's video, I'd like to take you on a tour of our product packaging and show you what's inside the box with the panel. First, let's take a look at the product packaging itself. You're going to find a wealth of information on all the flaps. Let's start with this particular side flap here. You're going to see the panel and we also list the equipment that works well with the panel. You can identify what type of panel you're purchasing by these blue circles with the letter C in the middle of them. You'll find them on the side flap here, on the side flap again here, again, large blue circle with a C on the side flap, and lastly, you'll find a blue circle with a C in the center on the top flap here. If this were an addressable panel, those same blue circles that I showed you would be red in color and have the letter I inside. In addition to the color-coded circles on the product packaging, again, this is a five-zone conventional panel. We can tell that by this large blue five on the outside of the box here. Five indicating five-zone conventional panel. One thing to pay attention to is this small box on the top flap. If this box is checked. That's telling us that the panel does not include the DAC modem or the dialer module. As you can see for our video today, this box is not checked, so our panel will have the dialer modem installed in the panel. Also on the top flap, we give you a short list of key features of the fire alarm panel itself. We give you our warranty information here. This panel contains a three-year warranty, and that warranty starts the day the panel is purchased. We have what we call the Have It Your Way box. This box will show you how flexible this panel can be programmed in meeting different types of fire alarm installation needs. Our five-zone fire alarm panel can support five Class B IDCs, or initiating device circuits, or you can have three Class B IDCs with one Class A IDC, or you could have two Class A IDCs with one Class B IDC. Below that, we show you how flexible the notification appliance circuits, or NACs, are. The conventional five zone fire alarm panel supports two class B NACs or one class A NAC. If your panel requires a semi flush mount, we do offer the F trim 35R, which you'll find detailed below here on the top flap. Should you have any additional questions that we don't go over in the video today, we give you our pre-sales application support phone number on the box. You can call this 800 number and select option 4. You will reach a pre-sales application engineer who will assist you in answering any additional questions you have about this fire alarm panel and tell you why this is the best panel on the market to fit your needs. Also, we now have QR codes on all our boxes. When you scan the QR code with your cell phone and a QR code reader, you're going to go to our website kitta-fire.com. On our website, you're able to get electronic literature such as catalog sheets, product brochures, and technical reference manuals. So now that I've kind of taken you on a tour of the outside of the box, let me show you what's inside the box. First thing you want to do, remove the protective Shipping products. Once we take the panel out, you're going to notice that you have a small bag here taped to the top of the panel. This has the cabinet keys that unlock this cabinet door. If you lose these keys, all of our Kitta branded fire alarm panels use the CAT 45 key. So if those particular keys get lost or thrown away, any CAT45 key will open this panel door. Once you open the panel door, first thing you're going to see inside here 
we have the two RJ cords. These are going to tie the fire alarm panel dialer to the RJ cords at the job site to establish communications between the panel and your central station monitoring center. Also, you're going to find a large bag in the bottom of the panel. First thing you're going to see is a product checklist. This ensures that all the accessories have been verified to be included in this box when you get it. You're going to find a small bag of end line resistors taped to the outside of this larger bag. Do not throw these away because these resistors have spade lugs on the ends of them which make for easy installation on your end line devices for your IDCs or NACs. Also, you'll see a, a bag inside here with wires. These are your backup battery wires and spade lugs. Save these so you can connect your backup battery to the panel. Two documents inside this bag. One is the technical reference manual. Inside the technical reference manual, you're going to get a system overview. The basic panel operation, which includes the installation guidelines. Steps on how to program the panel and the dialer. You're going to get equipment maintenance information system calculation worksheets, programming templates, wiring diagrams, the panel specifications, and we also give you a list of the default contact ID codes that the dialer is going to send to your central station. Lastly, inside this bag is the panel compatibility list. This lists all of the devices that have been UL listed to work with our fire alarm panel. The panel itself, remove this bezel. Do not throw it away. Just take this protective cardboard shipping off. What you're going to find is this plastic bezel behind there. The purpose of the bezel is to cover over all of the panel components and give you a nice clean look once the installation is complete. So that wraps up our what's in the box video today. If you have any other questions, please visit our website, kidda-fire.com, or scan the QR codes on the box, which will take you to our website. Or you can simply click the link below to return to our YouTube page and watch additional videos. Thanks.